Hi Cancers, it's Nick. We are back with your weekly readings. Hope you guys are doing good. This is for all my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. We are going to go over a little bit of health, career work, finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships. And then this week, we are going to do an animal spirit message, but this is with a different deck that I don't think I've ever used online, just personally, but I think you guys will like it. Okay, and then I did already run through the February, uh, February astrology for the second half of February for this, uh, what's going on this week in the February mid-monthly reading. So you can refer back to that if you want to hear the rundown. But basically this week, we begin Pisces season. We have the North Node in Aries conjuncting Chiron in Aries, Mercury moving into Pisces, and a Virgo full moon. So if you want to hear that little rundown, you can refer to that video, okay? And I'll have a link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two and a continuation. All right, so my dear Cancerians, let's see. Let's get started. What is your animal spirit? message for this week all right so you guys got the deer and here's a little like painting I'm not sure if you'll be able to like see it very clearly but there you go all right so the deer symbolism is instinctual energy independence and regeneration so the deer is graceful swift and elusive the deer has symbolized the powers in nature that are not easily subdued a deer's antlers which are shed and regrown each year are specifically associated with regeneration and renewal. A swift deer with golden antlers was sacred to the Greek goddess Artemis, whose realm encompassed the wilderness and instinctual untamed things. A deer is also a symbol that summons individuals to a calling or a journey. It has frequently appeared in legends and myths as a creature that lures a hunter or knight into the wilderness. In the legend of King Arthur, a deer leads Sir Gawain into the woods to begin his adventures. Nice. So deer may be your spirit animal for this week or maybe your sign that you're off to start some kind of new adventure new journey new path and you gotta trust on your instincts trust your intuition okay nice all right so cancers um and what's cool is that we found my husband and i found some antlers in the woods i think last year before skylar was born so that's cool and we still have it to this day all right, so when it comes to your health, my dear Cancers, you guys got the Empress. All right, so fertility, very fertile. Maybe some of you could be really fertile or pregnant or someone in your life could be pregnant or you could be hearing about that. So congrats if that's the case or if you're not trying to, just be extra cautious, but you could be really fertile. But if it's not that, I feel like you are growing, you are blossoming. You could be really beautiful or maybe like you're getting more compliments this week. This is a week where maybe you feel like you're having a good hair day, you're having good skin. Um, maybe you're going shopping or you're focusing on your beauty. Maybe you're doing something like a, a be beauty enhancement or getting your nails done, your eyelashes, new makeup, lotions, beauty products, whatever the case is. This could be a week where you're like beautifying yourself in whatever way, shape or form, okay? You could also be maybe taking care of or spending time with kids, children, babysitting, dogs, pet sitting, cats, stuff like that okay um so lots of beauty things growth creating fertility um and i feel like you could be feeling maybe a little more i don't know like into more into yourself this week than usual okay so if you got it flaunt it some of you could also have libra taurus or pisces somewhere in your chart um, you could also maybe be spending time with a mother or a mother figure in your life like maybe you're treating your mom and you guys are going to get your nails done together or something like that as like a mother daughter or spending time kind of day okay then when it comes to your uh, work school career and finances you guys got the queen of wands nice so i feel like for this week you could be feeling a lot more creative more passionate, more motivated, more having more like imagination um, and ideas coming into your head. And you're also receiving more attention than usual. And the attention you're receiving, I think, is good attention for the way you're expressing yourself, maybe for your creativity, for your ideas or how you're showing up. You may have more confidence this week in how you're expressing yourself or how you're showing up at work, school, business, whatever it is that you're doing. You could be working with or connecting with or making business with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius maybe could be another feminine uh, woman or feminine energy possibly um and i think more so here 
when it comes to your work, school, career, and finances, this is a week where you want to have confidence. Like, express yourself. You know, if you're if you want something, you gotta go after it. Don't be shy. Don't be timid. Go after it. Have confidence. You you are probably gonna receive uh, the right attention that you want, or maybe more attention than usual than you uh, than you would have expected. Okay, so just express yourself. Show up and be you know be colorful. Be show your personality, who you are, and you probably are gonna get a lot more reciprocation than than you thought, okay? All right, then when it comes to your love, romance, dating, or relationships, on your side, we have here the Four of Cups, the Star, and the Five of Swords, all right? So some of you may have Aquarius somewhere in your chart, possibly. Then on this other side, for this other person, this can be the past, present, or future situation, or all three, all the above, we have the King of Wands, strength and the seven of swords all right so as far as who you could be dealing with it could definitely be a leo or another fire sign aries sagittarius or maybe maybe air sign aquarius super gemini but i don't really feel like it's an air sign but could have air but feel more so fire like leo aries or sagittarius okay sun moon rising and or venus but doesn't have to be could be any sign like i always say to you guys could just be energy this person is embodying playing out maybe be like a mixed match of one of those all right so what is going on here um a quote that like came into my mind um right as i was like looking at these cards is if you want to go fast go alone but if you want to go far go together and I think it's coming through for a reason. So maybe that'll resonate with you or leave you kind of thinking. So if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Okay. And I think I'm saying that because I feel here there's some resistance maybe on your side or you're kind of like, a, yeah, like you're resisting some kind of support or like you wish to heal and you're trying, you have a wish to heal something and maybe there's something you're going through, but you feel like it's very personal and it's something that only you can do and you're trying to do it in your own way but someone may someone here maybe in your life is trying to help you in the best way they think possible that maybe is very helpful but you're almost like pushing it away or like you don't want it or you almost take offense to it or you feel like it's it's um uh like you you don't need it and you'd rather figure it out on your own but they're just trying to do it from a genuine place uh, this person maybe sees that you're down or you're resisting or that maybe there's something that's not going your way or you just may be kind of like in a mood this week. You could just be extra moody and like snappy and so you're just like, ah, leave me alone or like, I don't want it or no, I'm fine. But like they can tell you're frustrated or like something is up, something is wrong. And so they're just trying to like bring good vibes, bring good moods and maybe like, I don't know, spark your life a little bit more by um, expressing themselves or bringing more fun and enjoyment. But you're like, ah, oh, it's not the time for it. Like, I'm not in the mood for that right now. Like, it's not a joking time. You know, like when someone tries to joke with you, but you're like pissed off about something or you're just not in the right mood. And so otherwise it would be funny, but in that moment, it's not. So there's something that someone's trying to offer you or share with you, but you don't see it or you're not taking, you're not receiving it right now because you're too absorbed in some kind of emotion or feeling that you're going through um, that has you feeling some type of way and internally you really do want you want some healing or you really have put out this like wish to heal in some way that's going to reinvent yourself or make you see yourself in a different way or help you become like maybe like a different person but outside of you when there is help coming your way you may like almost push it away or self-sabotage sometimes without you intentionally doing it or knowing that you're doing it and so uh when this person tries to extend their help maybe to you and they're just giving you maybe some advice or saying hey i got your back don't worry like um i support you i'm here for you and they seem to like they are protective over you or they want to help you or they want to be there for you you they may say something that maybe just rubs you the wrong way and it maybe wasn't intent it, the intention wasn't to like rub you the wrong way or for it to get misconstrued in any way but you might snap back okay you might get snappy at someone or like have an argument or you just may say something that maybe whoa like was kind of mean possibly or just like the way you said it and so you have like a little argument or um, misunderstanding and then this person now is like oh man okay fine like geez I was just trying to help you and so they may then get upset um, and you guys may end the week kind of having like a 
bad vibes, I guess, bad vibes or a miscommunication, a misunderstanding because you might have like snapped on them or said something or, you know, yelled at them or whatever the case is because you just got frustrated possibly. And it wasn't because of them, but it's just because like they maybe didn't give you space and you needed space to like figure out something you were going on, was going on within yourself. And so now they're going to be maybe feeling kind of offended or um, mad or upset at you possibly. And um, they, I just, I just, it, it feels like they were just trying to help, but you may have just like been in, in some energy in your, in the moment. And then like said something that maybe later on you'll be like, ah, maybe I, I probably shouldn't have reacted that way. But let's continue on in the extended and see where this person's overall energy is at. Um, what are they thinking about when it comes to you? What are they feeling in their heart and soul? What they don't want you to know that maybe you should know and what their next action will be towards you and then followed up with your advice at the end, okay? So we'll continue on in the extended. Link will be below. I'll see you guys there, but I'll see you for your next reading, all right? Take care. Bye.